Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your Zoom calls for social media. So let's say you have a call with another online content creator, and you know that during that call, you're going to provide a lot of value. So you've asked your online content creator friend if you can record the call and turn it into social media videos. This is exactly what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So stay tuned, and you're going to learn how to record your Zoom call as a participant or a host, and then how to edit that Zoom call recording for social media. And with that being said, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to record your Zoom call and save it as an mp4 file with Anthony in Zoom. Okay, so once you're in the Zoom call, the first step to turning your Zoom call into a social media video is to actually record the Zoom call. And when you're in Zoom, there's a few different ways you can record the Zoom call. And one of those is as a participant and the other one is as a host. Right now, I'm currently the host. So I'm going to show you how to record. It's very straightforward. In the bottom toolbar, I can click on the record button right here. Now, if we take a look in the top left of the screen, we have the pause button and the stop button. And it shows that we're recording and again in the toolbar we have the same two buttons the pause and the stop button now for an example if I wanted to stop recording during the call because we need to say something off camera I can just click on the pause button and if I want to resume the recording I can then click on resume and as we can see it's now recording again if I want to stop it I can just click on the stop button and then if I end the meeting the recording also stops then so now if I click on stop as we can see in the top right of the screen, we have the message, the recorded file will be converted to an MP4 file at the end of the call. So that is how to record your Zoom call as a host. But what if I'm not the host? Right now here I'm with Anthony and I'm going to make Anthony the host. So if I just click on make host right now, so it says, do you want to change the host to Anthony? Yes, I do. So now you'll notice that if I click on the record button, it says, please request recording permission from the meeting host and the meeting host is Anthony. Okay, so now as a participant, I need to request access to begin the recording. You'll notice if I click the record button, I get the message, it pops up and it says, please request recording permission from the meeting host. So now if I ask Anthony to go ahead and hover over my name, he should have the option to allow me to record the call. So as you can see, Anthony's now done this. And in the top right, I have the notification that says host allows you to record this meeting. So now if I click on the record button, as we can see, it begins recording and I have the exact same options to either pause it and stop it. And there we go. That is how to record a meeting, a Zoom meeting as a participant or a host. And once you click on stop and you've ended the call, your recording will be converted to an MP4 file and saved to your desktop. And that window will then open up on your computer. All right, Anthony, that is awesome, man. Thank you, mate. Appreciate <laughs> it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, right. dude. Bye, man. Bye. So as we can see, now I finished the call and it says convert meeting recording and my recording is converted and then I'll be able to view it. So as we can see now it's popped up and I have all of the recordings from this meeting. So if I click on this one, this MP4 file right here, as we can see, it begins recording and I have the exact same. As you can see, this is my Zoom call recording. So now what we're going to do is take this to Veed. Okay, so great, thanks Anthony. And now you know how to record your Zoom call as a participant or a host. Now I'm going to show you how to edit your Zoom call for social media using an online video editor called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D and click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's gonna be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do have an account, we're just gonna click on the new project button in the top left. Now we're in Veed's video editor. This is where we want to upload our Zoom call recording. So if I click on upload video, I'm going to select my Zoom call recording. So I've got two here and I'm just going to choose this one. And if I click open, as we can see, it's now imported into Veed's video editor. So here we have a 60 second clip or a 53 second clip to be more precise. And the first thing we're going to do is actually going to cut, trim and split. So first of all, as we can see the beginning here, it's just pitch black or Anthony isn't visible. So what we're going to do is just click and drag the beginning until he is, and then just click and drag this back to the beginning. Um, if I want to split it in a certain area, if I just press play here, you've clicked on stop and ended your call, your recording will be converted to, for example, if I wanted to remove this bit where I'm talking about ending the call recording, I could place the playhead here, click on split and then go a bit further, place the playhead again, click on split, and then I could delete this clip from the middle and then click and drag this back to the beginning. Now, what I recommend doing before you cut, trim and edit is actually know where you're going to post this video. The reason being is that when you make changes to this clip, for an example, now that I've split it, let's just say I decide to change it just like this. If I go back to the first half, this won't have the same layout details as this one. So what we're gonna do is actually click on undo until I've no longer split the video and go back to the beginning. 
Okay, so here we are. So now I need to know where I'm going to post it. So if I want to post this to YouTube, I could leave it with the 16 by nine aspect ratio. If I want to post this to Instagram, we're gonna change it to the one by one aspect ratio. And to do this very straightforward, I'm gonna select the canvas size and choose square. And now what I'm going to do under the video tab is actually click on fit to frame. So we now have the entire video fit into the square video canvas. And then next we're gonna go under the project tab and click on the blue color to change the background to blue. Now, as we can see, we have these two black bars and we're just gonna trim these off by by clicking and dragging just like this. Now I'm gonna place this roughly in the middle. And the first thing I want to do is add a title. So we're gonna click on add new text under the text tab. And I'm just gonna do something very basic. I'm gonna call this zoom call and change the layout, change the font to Anton. I'm going to change it back to regular, change this to white and then change the font size to 96. Place it up like so just like this and then just click and drag this out. So now I have my title. The next thing I'm going to do is add a progress bar. So under the elements tab, click on progress bar. If I click on add to progress bar, I have a progress bar that appears on the screen. I can then place this anywhere I want. So I'm gonna place it just below Anthony and me and I'm gonna make the front color blue so it kind of matches the background as well. So at the beginning of the video, it's going to be at the beginning. In the middle of the video, the progress bar will be halfway through and at the end, the progress bar will be towards the end. So basically it just lets people know roughly how long the video is and how long they have left to go. I'm quickly just gonna adjust the title and put this roughly back in the middle using the arrow keys, just like this. And now the next thing I want to do is actually add some subtitles. So to do this, we're gonna go in the subtitles tab and then we're going to use the automatic subtitle tool to automatically subtitle our video. So if I click on the tool, I select the language that we are talking in and then I click on start. So as we can see now, it says, please be patient. And basically Veed is now automatically transcribing all of the audio from our video into text and turning this text into subtitles. And this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how long your video actually is. And as we can see now, it's just finished and we have the subtitles that have appeared on the screen. We have them in the subtitle editor on the actual video canvas and then in the timeline. So as we can see, if I click play, once you've clicked on stop and ended your call, your recording will be converted to an MP4 file. As you can see, we have subtitles for our video. Now, if there do happen to be any mistakes or you want to make changes to the text, it's very simple. You can easily click on any text bubble and just add any text you want and all the changes are made in real time on the video canvas. You can also change the timing. For example, this subtitle right here where it says computer. If I want it to last a bit longer, I place the playhead a bit later and then click on the end stopwatch and if I wanted it to start a bit later, again, I could do the same thing, place the playhead where I wanted to begin, and then I click on the beginning stopwatch. Now I could also enter these values in manually using my keyboard. And that is how to add the subtitles, but now I'm gonna change the style. So with, under the style tab, I'm gonna change the font size, make them a little bit bigger. I'm gonna choose this preset, because I like this preset right here. And as we can see, if I just click play, recording will be converted to an MP4 file and as you can see, we have some nicer and cleaner looking subtitles with a little bit of drop shadow that help them stand out from the back. Now, what I might actually do is just move this all up a little bit. I'm gonna place this right here. So as we can see, this goes over the video. So if I decided to make our heads a little bit bigger, for an example, just like this, there we go. So we both appear in it. I want to make sure I just hide these black bars. So I can hide these black bars with the progress bar. And then if I go under elements again, I add a shape. I decide to add this blue shape. I'm going to remove the outline, make the outline zero, change the blue color to the blue we're using. And what I can do is just quickly place it over here just like so, and then just click and drag this out. And now our faces are a little bit bigger. And I'm going to move this down a bit. Um, what I'm gonna make sure I do is in the timeline, if I click and drag this up a bit, I'm going to select the shape layer and actually just bring it below the text so the text appears in front of it, so it's not gonna get in the way. So now if I click play, recording will be converted to an MP4 file and save. As you can see, this looks pretty good. The only reason I'm looking off camera is because I'm making this video for you guys. Then once you're happy with your Zoom call that's been edited for social media, all you have to do is click on publish, and then Veed will start to render your video, and once it's finished rendering, you can then download it straight to your computer. I do want to mention that with Veed, you can do more than just what I've showed you now. You can also add background music, you can add images, you can change the speed of your video, you can add effects and filters, add stickers, and a bunch more. But if you have any questions about how to edit your Zoom video for social media, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, and if you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because I really appreciate it. We all really appreciate it here at Veed. With that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.